Imagine you can create cities with just a few clicks, set up realistic skies in seconds, automatically organize UV maps, or grow or simulate organic structures based on your preferences. Well, you don't have to imagine it anymore, because in this video I will go over 10 completely free add-ins for Blender 3D that are capable of doing these complex tasks in a matter of seconds. Also, this add-in list contains a wide spectrum of third-party add-ins for different purposes, so it fits everybody's preferences and needs. Just before we begin, I want to tell you that if you are new here, I am uploading daily videos about useful tips inside Blender 3D, so if you want to be better every single day, subscribe to Graffinity to not miss valuable daily lectures about 3D rendering. So let's begin with the first free add-in, which is Blender GIS. This add-in can produce realistic landscapes in large, precise environment from maps and satellite data, seamlessly integrating real-world maps and landscapes directly into the 3D modeling environment. With the ability to import maps, satellite images, and terrain data directly into Blender, this add-in is capable of creating lifelike 3D models of actual places. Supporting GIS formats such as shapefiles and OpenStreetMap, it offers versatility in incorporating external geographic datasets. First, you will choose the location from the base map, zoom in on a specific place, and hit E on your keyboard. Once you have a base map, you can add elevation to accurately displace the map with Google Maps elevation data. The best part is that you can even add buildings, roads, rivers, park lots, and other city elements. To use this add-on, your Blender version must be at least 2.8 and higher and it is available for free on platforms like GitHub or Blender Market. The next add-in is GeoScatter. This add-in allows users to effortlessly scatter objects like trees, rocks, or any chosen elements across terrains, bringing diversity to their landscapes. With support for various scattering modes, users gain control over the distribution and density of the scattered objects, while additional features enable randomization of rotation and scale for a more natural appearance. The process is straightforward. You can select the objects you want to scatter, specify the terrain for scattering, and adjust settings for distribution, density, rotation, and scale. GeoScatter then automatically scatters the chosen objects across the specified terrain. But despite scattering custom objects, GeoScatter comes with biome presets that you can easily add to your scene with one single click. You can add whole biomes or scatter single layers, which is pretty cool. It is compatible with Blender versions 2.8 and newer, and you can find and download this Blender add-in on GitHub. For camera and perspective alignment, there is an FSPY Blender add-in that serves as a valuable tool for both beginners and experienced Blender users, offering a simplified step-by-step -step solution for matching 3D scenes to real-world photos with precision. This add-in simplifies the process by enabling users to effortlessly import real-world camera data into Blender and align 3D scenes accurately with images. First, you need to provide essential information for Blender by aligning axis lines on the photo, so the program can understand the camera's perspective. This allows FSPY to calculate the camera settings and translate the camera position, rotation, and focal length into Blender. This process is part of separate software that you need to install on your computer, but don't worry, this program is free as well. Then you need to enable the FSPY add-in and import the camera data into the 3D viewport. FSPY is compatible with Blender version 2.8 newer, and you can download this add-in from platforms on GitHub. The FSPY software can be downloaded from their official website. If you like hard surface modeling but you can't afford add-ons like Hard Ops, Deco Machine, or Box Cutter Machine 3 Tools is a perfect free alternative with a similar set of features. This add-on is a powerful enhancement for Blender, specifically crafted to make hard surface modeling easier. It streamlines workflows by integrating features such as Boolean operations, array modifiers, and alignment tools. Precision is at the forefront, with measurement tools facilitating accurate modeling, while specialized generators simplify the creation of gears and screws. It is worth saying that this add-in supports non-destructive modeling, which is perfect for those who want to make changes without losing previous work. It is compatible with Blender versions 2.8 and newer, and you can download it from GitHub for free. We will stay in 3D modeling, but this time we will focus on organic modeling rather than hard surface modeling because the next add-on is called Differential Growth. This add-in is specifically designed to create organic shaped structures that mimic natural growth. The algorithm that simulates organic growth is driven by the vertex weight group, which you can assign to object data properties. With advanced control over this setup, you can create different variations of growth and create complex organic shapes that would be hard to model manually. It also supports dynamic animations, enabling users to control the growth process over time. Again, the minimum required version is Blender 2.8, and you can download this add-in from GitHub for free. Let's jump from 3D modeling to lighting. 
because the next add-in on this list is Real Sky. This add-in transforms the Blender experience by offering realistic and dynamic sky simulations. It offers a selection of preset sky configurations and presets, including clear skies, sunsets, and overcast conditions. This means that this add-in can deliver even more natural lighting than environment textures, with the advantage that the sky setup is fully adjustable, including the sun's position, intensity, daytime, month, and much more. Real Sky also comes with four presets of the most common clouds, meaning you can add and procedurally edit the atmosphere. With an intuitive user interface, it is possible to adjust or animate any sky settings. The add-in supports real-time updates, enabling immediate visual feedback on any adjustments made. Real Ski is compatible with Blender versions 2.8 and newer, and as you probably guessed, you can download it from GitHub. Let's go back to modeling because the next add-on is called UV Squares. This add-in is very simple, yet I can't even say how much time and effort it saved me during my modeling tasks. How many times were you unwrapping your 3D model and the UV map was distorted and unevenly scaled? Well, this add-in organizes them into neat squares, making everything look clean and helping textures fit better. It's like having a magic tool that arranges everything for you, so you don't need to align and fix everything manually. You can also adjust how much space is between the faces. It is capable of fixing any quad distortions, making the 3D model ready for texturing. It works with Blender 2.8 newer, and you can find it on GitHub. Now, with a properly unwrapped 3D model, we can jump straight to texturing with this next add-in called Anti-Seam. We all use image textures or PBR materials, but once they're tiled, you can always see the texture repetition, which looks unnatural. So how can you get rid of this pattern? The Anti-Seam Blender add-in automatically minimizes the visibility of seams and repeating patterns with only one single node group that transforms the tiling to a new pattern that never repeats itself. With this add-on, you don't have to worry that someone will spot a texture repetition on your render ever again. You can use only one single texture or material, and the add-in will do the rest for you. The minimum required Blender version is 2.8, and as you already know, you can find and download this add-in on GitHub. The last add-on suited for modeling is a Buildify add-on. This add-on offers a powerful way to create buildings with just a few clicks. It is a geometry node-based system, meaning you can create an infinite variation of any building and adjust any setting or value because the buildings are fully procedural. With these powerful building generator, you can create streets or even cities with realistic proportions, adjustable floors, and more. The add-in's key features include customizable parameters that provide control over building dimensions, styles, and roof types, giving users the flexibility to tailor structures to their preferences. What makes this add-in unique is that the buildings will always match the base object structure, meaning every time you extrude a face, you will create a whole new part of that building. To use this add-in, your Blender version must be at least 2.8 or higher, and you can find it on GitHub. The last add-in on this list is dedicated to textures, more specifically PBR materials. Easy PBR is an add-in that connects the asset library from Ambient CG and other sources directly to Blender 3D, so you can easily add any material from this library to your object without ever leaving Blender. It offers a user-friendly interface for adjusting material properties such as color, roughness, normals, height map, and others through sliders and settings. You can choose materials from different categories or search for your desired material by using the search engine. After choosing the material, you will simply choose the resolution and image format, and Blender will download the texture from the online library and apply it to the selected object. But if you already have other materials downloaded, you can import them from your device to the library library and access them from one place. You must have Blender version 2.8 or higher, and you can download it from GitHub. That is all from me for now. If you enjoyed this video, go hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your grandma, and comment on what the next list should be about. Also, if you want to create a procedural particle system, go check out this video. With that being said, thanks for watching, and see you next time.